So um, we're going to go ahead and get it started there, you guys. Um, playlist is in the comments. Um, it's also up on the page. You guys know the drill already. I have it pulled up here. Um, it's ready to go. It should start with the priestess. So let's get that playlist going in three, two, one. So we're going to be starting standing today. So what I want to do, hopefully I'm far enough away you can see me, the whole, the whole thing. So we're just going to start to reach the arms up overhead. Nice deep breath in as you reach up. And then on your exhale, just folding forward, allowing the knees to soften as you round over the front of the body. We're just going to hold that there for an inhale. And on your exhale, press down through your heels and just stack the spine all the way back up to vertical. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, dive and forward, drawing the belly up away from the floor. Pausing for that inhale, back of the head and arms heavy. And exhale, press down through your heels, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let's do that one more time before we add. Reaching up, exhale, rounding forward. Pausing for that in-breath. And exhale, stacking all the way back up to the top. So we're going to start the same way, but we're going to add a little mini back bend to, into it. I'm just going to walk away from my wall a little bit, breathing in to reach up, exhale, diving forward, rounding over. And this time when we roll up, we're going to take the arms into our cactus position and just pull the shoulders together, lift the chest up, feel that opening through the front of the shoulders, reaching up fingertips to the ceiling, Folding forward, rounding over, rolling all the way back up, arms come to goal posts, open the chest. Last time, reaching up, diving forward, and stacking it all the way up, and taking it into your goal post. So let's relax those arms down. We're going to go into a little side bend next. So uh, knees are just a little bit soft. Inhale to reach one arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, we're folding to the side, opening up through the ribs, feeling that fanning a part of the rib cage. Reaching up on that inhale and exhale lower. Other side goes, reaching it up. Exhale, side bend, opening up the waist, reaching it up and lowering down. One more either direction, reaching it up. Exhale, framing the face. Nice long side bend. Inhale, lift, and exhale to lower. One more other direction, take it up. Side bend, opening the waist, and reaching it back up, lowering all the way down. Let's take it into a little bit of rotation next. Arms come out to the side, take a second just to roll those shoulders down and back, soft to the elbow joints, and then breathing in to prepare. Exhale, rotate to the right, bend the right elbow as you stretch a little bit further forward with that left fingertip, feel that spine spiral up even taller. And then inhale, we rotate back to center. Exhale, turning to the left, bending the left elbow, stretching forward with the right fingertip. And inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, twist to the right, getting taller as you rotate. Inhale, back in. Other side goes, rotate, left elbow back, right fingertip forward, and inhale, come all the way, and then we can just release those arms down. So now we're going to start to warm up through our bigger muscles, our legs, so our standing footwork. So what we want to do, I'll start off my mat a little bit here. Um, we're going to take those feet about hip width apart, soft through those knees, parallel through those feet. And then just start to send the hips back as you reach the arms forward. Try to get the thighs as parallel to the ground as possible. And press down through the heels. Squeeze the glutes to come all the way back up. Inhale, send the hips back, stretching the fingertips forward. And exhale, press all the way back up. And let's go for eight. Seven. Six, keep tucking the ribs as you send the hips back. Five. Four. Three. Two. 
Now last one, send the hips back and hold. So your heels are heavy, your toes are light. You should be able to pick those toes up off the floor if you wanted to. And let's go little pulses up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come all the way up. So we're gonna keep those feet about hip width apart, but we're just gonna take that right foot and just bring it to a big step back behind you. So farther back than you even think you should. So we're gonna go into a split squat here, single leg squat. So imagine the ears, the shoulders, and the hips are just stacked in one vertical axis. And we bend both knees to 90, 90, you reach the arms up overhead and press back through the top of the rear thigh to straighten, get that nice little stretch. Bend to that hover, sweeping the arms up and press up. So the weight should be in that left heel, that front heel. Really trying to use that front leg more than the back leg, although both legs are definitely working here. And let's go for five. I just started breathing. Hopefully it'll get a little cooler up here. So hot. Four. <laughs> Three. Two. Now last one, we come to that hover where you hold. So 80% of your weight's in that, that front heel. Pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up, step it in, and then we gotta get the other side. So left foot takes that big step back and farther than you think you should go. And then bend both knees to 90, 90, reaching up overhead and drive up through that right heel to come up. Bending and reaching up, keeping that ear lobe just right over your hip. Think of the body going up and down like a carousel horse. And let's go for six, five, four, three, two, now last one, we sing to that hover. Most of your weight's in that right heel. Pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step all the way back together. So last thing we're gonna do in the standing position, take it to a big step out. So wider than your shoulders. Turn out about 45 degrees. Again, step wider than you think that you should go. So now we're gonna go into our plie squat, our sumo squat. So feel your pinky toes nice and heavy. Make sure that you're not rolling into the arches of the foot. And then just sinking down again, we're that carousel horse. As you sink down, press your knees behind you and push your hips in front of you. Drive up through the heels, squeeze the glutes, come all the way up. Inhale, we're sinking down, pressing knees back, hips forward. Drive all the way up through those heels. And we've got eight, seven, six, five. This turnout should give you a little more work in those glutes and that side seat. Reach. And we've got four, three. Two. Now last one, we hold. We know what's coming here. Pressing the knees back, hips forward. Pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. And then we can walk it in and shake it out. All right, so I'm just gonna move my mat back a little bit more. I had to move my computer back a little bit to get the, the standing work in. So we're going to go into a walk out to a plank position. So again, we want those feet about hip width apart. And then from here, we're starting to roll down like we did in our warm up, allowing the knees to soften and just walk your hands out into your plank. So you walk those hands out in front of the shoulders, pressing down through all 10 fingertips like you're trying to make those arms two inches longer than they were before. Pull your belly in and up like your shirt's really cold and wet. You don't want your stomach uh, touching the front of your shirt. So from here, let's push back into our downward facing dog. 
reach up through the sit bones, press the bottom of the rib cage towards the front of the thighs, and just feel that really nice stretch through the back of the legs. And then let's hinge back over the wrists, pulling in the belly up away from the floor. And let's press back, tucking the abs as you lift the tail. And we hinge back forward, lifting up through the belly. Two more times, reaching back and hinging forward. Last time, reaching back and now hinge into your plank and hold it here. Let's go into a single leg tap down. Draw the abs in even deeper as you tap the right knee down towards the mat and press up to the back of the right thigh to straighten. Then the left knee draw up in the abdominals and press back up. Let's go for four, three, hips stay squared off to the ground. Two, one, now hold it here. Let's reach both knees down, tap the floor and press up to the back of the thighs. Bend and tap, drawing the belly in even deeper and reach up. Let's go for four. Obliques active. Three, two. Now last one, we press up, hold it here for one more nice deep breath in. And let's just start to lower ourselves all the way down onto our bellies. So you should end up with your hands just right underneath your shoulders. Legs are parallel, you can have them together or apart, and belly is pulled up away from the floor. So let's go into our breaststroke prep number one. Breathing in to prepare, exhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, opening up through the collarbones, just light pressure through those palms. Feel that upper body nice and active, lower back is nice and neutral here. And then we're lowering back down, lengthening through the tips of the ears, so we're hovering back above the floor. Breathing in to prepare. Exhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, roll the front of the shoulders open. Hold, breathing in, and exhale, coming back down into that hover. Let's do that just two more times. Inhale, exhale, chin lifts, chest follows like a wave cresting, collarbones wide, holding, breathing in, and lengthening back into that hover. One more time, breathing in to prepare. Exhale, chin lifts, chest follows. Squeeze the shoulders together and down. We hold for that breath and then lengthen back into our hover. So let's take it to our counter stretch next. Round back into our shell stretch, opening up through that back body. And then let's just make our way in, uh, onto our backs. Okay, so we're going onto our backs. And we're starting in a neutral position through that spine and pelvis. So hip bones and pubic bone, that bowl of the pelvis should be upright. That should create a natural little space underneath that lumbar spine. And let's start to go into our obliques a little bit more with our pelvic tilts. Breathing in to prepare, exhale, sink the abdominals and rock the pelvis towards your waist. So feel the belly sink to the backbone. Hold for an inhale. Your feet and glutes should be completely relaxed here. It's just front body muscles that are active. And then just lengthen back into a neutral position again. Breathing in to prepare. Exhale, imprinting the spine of the mat. Again, just abs working, nothing in the back body. Hold for that inhale. And lengthening back into that neutral. Two more times, inhale. Exhale, imprint, flattening through the belly. Hold, breathing in and lengthening back to your neutral. One more time, breathing in to prepare. Exhale, imprinting with abdominals. But now let's keep that imprinted position and take the legs up to your tabletop. Once your legs are on tabletop, let's take those arms up as well. So palms are gonna face your knees and we're gonna move into what's called a dead bug. So we think of those suspender muscles, right? Those obliques, those are your rib hip muscles. Keep them tightened the entire time, right? So don't think about it as pushing your back down into the floor. Think about it as pulling your ribs down and your hips up. That's gonna avoid putting any excess strain in your lower back. Let's breathe in and prepare. And on your exhale, take your right arm back and your left leg forward. Think of stretching out the further down that you go, the harder it's gonna feel. And inhale, we come back into that tabletop. Other side goes, left arm, right leg, send it away without the suspenders getting loose. 
and inhale, come back to center. Let's bring it out for four. And in. And three. And in. Two. And in. Last one. And in. So a little different here. Let's turn the palms to face each other like you've got a roll of paper towels between the fingertips. And take all 10 toes up to the ceiling. So we've got tighter hamstrings. You can keep them a little bit soft. That's okay. And then we're gonna go into a lateral dead bug. So the right arm is gonna to come to the right as the left leg goes to the left, but don't let your pelvis move over to the side. And then we pull the limbs back to center. Now left arm to the left, right leg to the right, opening to the side, and pull back to center. And let's take it out. And, and you should feel those waist muscles trying to resist the rotation of the body here against that weight of the limbs. Let's go just one more on either side. Last time. And then come back in and we can place the feet down. Let's keep the arms up, however. Let's just turn the palms back down towards the knees again. And we're gonna go into our ab prep. So if this starts to bother your neck, you can always bring your hands behind the back of the head. Let's breathe in and prepare. Exhale, sink the abdominals, nod, curl, and flex. You wanna end up so that your arms are parallel to the floor, your eyes are right below your knees. And then we're just gonna lower back down, arms reach back up overhead. Exhale, nod, curl, flex. Think of like an accordion. Those ribs are like the, the uh, sides of an accordion kind of pushing together. And inhale, we lower back down again. And let's go for three. And lower. And two. And lower. Now last one, we're gonna add on. Let's take it into three pulses up. Three, two, one. Come all the way back down to the mat. Nod, curl, flex. Reaching it forward on that pulse. Three, two, one. Come all the way back down. Let's do that just one more time. Curl and flex. Pulse for three, two, one, and come all the way back down. All right, so leave your hands where they are. Let's come back to your imprinted spine. Take your legs in a tabletop. So option here to stay in your tabletop. Otherwise, reach your toes to the ceiling and let's rotate out. So we're in our first position. That's heels together, toes apart. We're gonna move into our hundreds. Breathing in to prepare. Exhale, nod, curl, flex, taking the arms parallel to the floor. If you're feeling strong here, lower those legs a little bit more, and let's pulse. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, we're at 70, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and 80, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and 90, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, one more, inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, and hold, stretch all 10 fingers a little further forward. And now lower your legs, lower, lower, lower until you're all the way down. And then we can lower the shoulders down and bring your hands behind your head. All right, so let's go ahead and bend the right knee. And the pelvis is gonna stay neutral. It's just a little bit of a curve to the lumbar spine. Draw the navel to the backbone so much that that left leg starts to float up until it lifts up to the height of that right knee. And then we're lowering it back down again. Little break here kind of. Exhale, navel to spine, lifting the leg up and lowering it back down. And let's go for three. Always think of sinking the abdominals first before the limb moves. That's gonna set you up for success in terms of firing the correct muscles in the correct order. Now, last one, sink the abs down and lift the leg up, hold it here. 
We're gonna add a little twist as we pull the knee towards the chest. On your next exhale, curl up and rotate. Right rib towards left hip and lower the shoulder, stretch the leg away. Exhale, rotate, think rib to hip, not elbow to knee, and reach away. And let's go for three, and reach. Two, and reach. Last one, and reach. And we can lower the leg all the way down, slide it back in towards your bum, and let's switch to the other side. So reaching the right leg away, keeping that lower back neutral. And then let's sink the abdominals down so much the right leg floats up to the level of the left leg. And we lower it back down towards the floor. Exhale, think of flattening the belly across the hip bones and lowering it back down. Nothing moves but the leg bone. Let's go for three. And lower. Two and lower. Now last one we lift and we hold. Let's add that twist. Curl up, rotate left rib to right hip and rotate back, stretch away. Curl and twist, wide elbows and reach away. Let's go for three and reach. Two and reach. Last one and reach, and we can take the leg all the way down. Let's slide the left leg long as well. Take your fingertips up towards the ceiling. We're gonna move into our roll-ups next. So as the arms drop back towards the ears, don't let the bottom of the rib cage pop up. Keep pulling the ribs down and the hips up. And now we inhale, lift the arms up, exhale, tuck the chin, draw the belly in, and then just reach forward for those toes. Nice big stretch through the back of the body. And then we maintain that C curve through the spine as we peel down, imprinting onto the mat, and extend the arms back overhead. Inhale to lift. Exhale, nod, curl, and flex, drawing back on the waistline, reaching it forward, peeling it back, and continuing all the way back down. Let's do that just two more times. Reaching up, nod, curl, flex. Keep the back of the thighs nice and heavy. Reaching it back, and continuing all the way back down. Last one, curl and flex. Press the back of the thighs into the mat. Stretch for the toes, and peel all the way down. And we can just allow the arms to rest by your sides. So let's walk the heels in towards the sit bones. We're gonna be moving into some hip rolls next. So I'm starting to wake up the back of the body a little bit more. Let's breathe in and prepare. Exhale, imprint your spine into the mat. Squeeze the glutes and roll up onto the widest part of the shoulder blades. So when we're here, we wanna keep the throat open, front of the shoulders are wide, heels heavy and toes light. Hold for that inhale. And exhale, melting the sternum down and keeping the throat open as you articulate all the way through your imprint back into neutral. Breathing in to prepare. Exhale, imprint with abdominals, squeeze glutes and press up. Hold, breathing in. And exhale, articulating all the way down through the spine. Two more times like that. Breathing in to prepare. Exhale, imprint, press, lift and rise up. Hold for that inhale. And we roll all the way back down and through. Now one more, we're gonna stay up, we're gonna be adding on, breathing in to prepare. Exhale, imprint, press and lift. Now let's hold at the top of that bridge position. And uh, hopefully, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, so glutes are squeezed, hips are open. Now let's shift the weight into the left foot, floating the right leg up in a tabletop. So feel that left glute contract as you lift the right leg up. And we lower it back down. Press down into that right heel, float the left leg in the tabletop, feel the right glute contract, and lower back down. And we transfer to the left, lift the right, and lower down. Transfer to the right, lift the left, and lower down. Now let's hold it here. We're gonna go into our full shoulder bridge. So let's shift the weight to the left foot, 
Take the right leg in through tabletop and stretch it up towards the ceiling. Flex your foot and lower as far down as you can keep the hips lifted. Point the toe and lift. Flex to lower, point to lift. Last time, point to lift and hold. Let's reverse the ankle action. Keep the toe pointed and lower the leg and now flex your ankle to lift up. It'll feel like a little stretch or a big stretch. Point to lower, flex to lift. Last time, and we flex to lift. Bend the knee and just replace the foot down. Other side goes, shifting to the right. Take the left leg in and up. Flex to lower, point to lift. Flex to lower, point to lift. Last one like this. Now point and hold, keep the ankle pointed. Lower the leg down, flex the ankle and lift back up. Point to lower, flex to lift. Last time, flex to lift, and then replace the foot. And let's roll all the way down through the spine. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our weights if you're using cans um, or dumbbells or whatever you got. We're gonna go ahead and grab those. And then, Let's make our way down. We're just going to use one at first. So you're going to need that in the right hand. So it's going to feel pretty light at first. We are going to be adding some stuff on, unless of course you are using like an actual dumbbell. It'll feel a little bit more challenging. So we're going to start off with a single arm chest fly. Let's take the right arm out to the side and you want to just hover that right arm above the floor. So the back of the arm is just above the ground. It's not actually touching down. Hip bones are squared off. And then we want to pull through the front of the shoulder and just reach the weight up over the center of the chest. And we're just taking it back down to that hover, slight softness through the elbow. Exhale, we squeeze through the front of the chest like you're trying to pull that pec into the middle of your body and open back up. Yeah, it's not a heck of a lot of weight, but we, we are going to be adding on a little bit of ab work to that. And let's go for three. And two. And one, now let's open it back up. We're gonna add a curl to that fly. So this time as you, you can bring your uh, left hand behind the back of your head or leave it uh, just on the ground. And now let's curl the shoulders up as you pull the weight over your chest, ribs slide to frontal hips, and then lower the arm back to that hover. Exhale, pull into center, and we lower back to that hover. Let's go for four. And three, two, now last one, curl and hold. Keep the weight over the center of the chest. Let's pulse it up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way back down. Now let's transfer the weight over to the other side. Now we know what we're in for. Softening through that left elbow, arm is hovering above the ground, and then pull the abs in, reach the weight over the center of the chest, and open back out into that hover. Exhale, pull in towards the chest, and then we go back to that hover. Let's go for four. And three. Just feel like a nice little stretch on the way down as well. One more like that. And now let's bring the right hand behind the back of the head and we curl up, pulling the weight over the sternum, lower the shoulders, open the arm. Exhale, pull it in and lower down. Let's go for four. And three. Two. Now last one, pull up and hold. Little pulses up with abdominals for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way back down. All right, grab your second weight. And what we want to do here is bring them together over your belly button. So you're pushing the weights together like you're trying to hold a $100 bill between both of those weights. So we're gonna go into a pullover. 
We're gonna take those weights and reach them back, slight softness through the elbows. And then when you pull them back over your belly, think of squeezing your armpits shut. So you're using your lats and your pecs here. We're reaching up, softening through the elbows, and then squeeze back over the center of the belly. Let's go for four. Squeeze it in. And three. And two. Last one. Now from here, we're gonna open the arms to the side and go into a double fly, but adding a bridge as well. So slight softness to the elbows, squeeze glutes, bridge the hips up, weights come together, and then leading with the tailbone, come down, opening to that hover. Exhale, squeeze it together, and lower back down. Let's go for four. Three. Two. Now last one, squeeze and hold. Let's put it together, maintaining that bridge. Weights come back, softening through the elbows. Oops, I'm running into my desk there. <laughs> Scoot it down a little bit. And then pull back over the belly button. Take it out to the side to that chest fly and pull all the way back in. Reach it back, come back over the stomach, fly to the side and bring it together. Let's go for three and open. Two and open. Last one and open. Now hold it here. Separate the arms just to shoulder width. Your choice whether you want to keep working those glutes and stay up or come down. And now let's go into a tricep extension. So elbows stay pointed at the sky. We hinge at the elbow joints and earmuff the ears with those weights. Exhale, squeeze the triceps to straighten the elbow. So the, the upper arm bone, the humerus, is not moving. All we're doing is hinging at that joint. Let's go for four. If you're in that bridge, those glutes should be burning. Don't let those hips sink. Three, two, one. Reach and bring everything all the way down. All right, so let's move our weights to the side and flip over onto one side. So it doesn't matter which side you're on, we get to them both. The belly is pulled up away from the mat. Top hand is gonna go on that side butt right where your underwear line is. This is the muscle that we're gonna be contracting. And knees are bent, hips are flexed. The feet are just slightly behind the knees, right? You can adjust that as needed. So we're gonna be moving into our clamshells. Leading with that knee, we open without letting the pelvis move back in space. You should feel that muscle contract underneath your hand and then just lower the legs back down together. Exhale, squeezing it out and lower back down. And let's go for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now last one, squeeze and hold. That top leg is an external rotation. It's gonna stay that way. And let's just slide the legs all the way along. So you can bring your top hand down as a kickstand. So that top leg is turned out. So it's not just the foot, right? It's that whole thigh bone that's wrapping backward. That clamshell muscle is really active. And we're gonna be moving into just a little lift. So uh, as you lift up, we're leaning from the top of that thigh bone and lowering it back down. So different hip structures have different amounts of abduction here. I don't have a heck of a lot of movement in this plane, so some people might be able to get higher than this, or some might not be able to get as high. It doesn't matter, right? You should feel it. And let's go for three. And two. Last one. 
Now we're going to be moving into our single leg develop. Hey, if you've been on the reformer, this is a um, leg springs exercise. So we're maintaining that wrapped out top thigh and just drag the top heel up to the bottom knee. Once you reach the, the bottom knee there, we're going to reach up, extend and lower all the way back down. So we drag the heel up, extend through the knee, nothing else changes and lower down. Two more of this direction. In and up and lower it down. Last one, in and up and lower it down. Let's reverse. Straight leg comes up, fold the knee joint, and then drag the heel away. Lifting it up, bend, and drag it away. Two more times, lift, bend, and reach. Last one, lift, bend, and reach. And let's just rotate that thigh bone down, do that little stretch there through the side of the hip. So let's make our way up onto our forearm here for some side planks. So option in order of difficulty here, you can keep the knees bent, you can stagger the legs, or you can stack them. So I'm gonna pick your vector here. Top hand goes on the hip and then breathing in to prepare. Exhale, pull the waist up away from the floor. And then we just come back down to the mat. Exhale, bottom two ribs pull together and we lower back down. Let's do that just two more times. Lifting up and lower. Last one, lift up, now hold. Let's take that top arm up towards the ceiling and just rotate, reaching towards that bottom elbow and rotate back to square. Rotating under, threading that needle and rotating back up. Two more times. Rotating under and lift. Last one and lift. Let's hold for one more inhale. Lift a little higher if you can and then come all the way down. Bend the knees, coming up to seated, reach for the ankles, and just take a little side bend away. All right, let's flip over to the other side. So we're starting with those clamshells. So we wanna have those knees bent and hips flexed, a little bit of space underneath the bottom waist, top hand on your side butt. And then from here, exhale, rotating, contracting that side seat and rotating back down. Opening up and lowering down. Let's go for six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now last one. We open and we hold, so we're externally rotated. You can bring your hand down as a kickstand and just slide the legs away. You might have to bring them a little bit further forward if you need a little more balance. So now we take it into that lift up and we lower back down. And lifting up and lowering back down. Let's go for six. Five, keep wrapping the thigh bone back towards your bum. Four, three, two, one. Moving into that developé or developé is the I can't I can never pronounce it right. Come in and up and lower it down. In and up and lower it down. Two more in this direction. In and up and lower. Last time and lower. Now it's reverse directions. Maintain that turnout. Lift up, bend, and push it away. Lift, bend, press it away. Two more times. Bend and reach. Last time, lift, bend, and reach. Rotate the top thigh bone down, feel that little bit of relief. And then let's make our way up onto our side. 
take your position for your side plank. So top hand goes to the hip, breathing in to prepare. Exhale, pull the waist up off the floor, and then we lower it back down again. Exhale, lifting it up and lowering down. Two more like that. Lift and lower. Last time, lift and hold. Reach it up and we rotate under, threading that needle and open back up to square. Rotating under and rotating up. Two more times. Don't let the hips sink. Last time, reach it up, lift just a little tiny bit higher, and then come all the way down. Push yourself up to sitting, reach for the ankles. Nice long side bend there, opening up through that side body. All right, let's make our way over into our bellies again. Done lots of glutes today. Always good to focus on that. So, heels together, toes apart. We're coming back to our first position. You're gonna be resting your head just right on your hands. So, this is gonna be more of like a long diamond shape. Sometimes we do our heel squeeze prone, we're kind of more in a bent position. But we're gonna keep this diamond open here. And we're gonna be lifting the whole thing up. So, feel your belly pull away from the floor and then squeeze your glutes right in your sit bones and just lift the legs up. And then we lower them back down. Exhale, squeeze to lift and lower down. Let's go for six. And five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release the legs, go about hip width apart. And redraw the abs in. We're gonna take just the right leg, slide it away and lift. That right butt is super squeezed and lower back down. Left leg reaches back and then up. You're moving the thigh bone with the glutes and lower down. Let's go for six, five, four, Three, two, one. Slide your hands back underneath your shoulders and take your legs wide and turn them out. So we're gonna be moving into our swans here. So glutes are important for a nice strong swan. They um, to make sure that you're not extending your lower back overly. So abs drawing in and up. Let's breathe in and prepare. Exhale, lift the chin, lift the chest. We continue to press up, opening up into full extension. Just don't extend your elbows all the way. Glutes are squeezed, abs are drawing in and up. And then we're lowering back down to the belly and lengthening back into that hover right above the ground. Let's breathe in and prepare. Exhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, press up, opening up to the collarbone, squeezing the glutes, holding it for that inhale, and lengthening all the way back down into your hover. Let's do that one more time, breathing in. Exhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, squeeze and open. Feel the hip bones draw up to the bottom of the ribs and then lengthening back down and reaching into your hover. Let's push back into our counter stretch, our shell stretch. Let's just take the feet together, knees wide to open up through the front of the hips. Walk the fingers away from the shoulders, let the head just rest heavy on the ground. And just feel the ribs opening as you breathe, like an umbrella or jellyfish. Let's walk the hands over to the right side. Left hand covers the right hand. Left hip pushes to the left side of the room. And just really focus on moving that bottom left rib up and out, creating more space for that lung. And then let's walk the hands through center over to the left. Right hand covers the left, push the right hip to the right side of the room, and breathing deeply into the right side of the rib cage, into the bottom lower part of that lung. And then let's walk it back into center, and we can roll it all the way up from there. All right, 
Awesome job, you guys. Uh, thanks so much for coming, as usual. And we got one class left in the schedule, so make sure you don't miss it. It's going to be next Wednesday. Uh, and be sure to check the schedule for different events coming up. Um, and yeah, stay cool out there, guys. I will see you hopefully next week. Have a great rest of your evening.